We all knew it was coming. About that time. What's up, y'all? Marshall Murkison here. Uh, if any of y'all have watched any of our videos, then I'm sure in the past few videos you have heard me talk about how I have a pulled muscle and I haven't been doing any leg exercises as a result. So it's been about three and a half, four months now since I pulled that muscle. It was a groin pull, or at least that's what I think it is. I'm tired of not being able to hit legs. I'm tired of not being able to do any real cardio. So I am going to the doctor. My boss was kind enough to grudgingly let me get off early enough to go. So we're about to go find out what's wrong with me. Yeah. Made it. My GPS was kind of scaring me a little bit. It took me a route I've never been before. I've only been here once, so I uh, decided to play it safe and use the GPS. Let's go find out what's wrong with me. Waiting. Bad news, they don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, suggested I stop working out entirely for a month straight and uh, see how that goes. Prescribe some anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers. See how that goes. Okay, so to sum it up, uh, evidently the groin is pulled and they suggested that I take four weeks off from training entirely, especially the lower body. And I was prescribed medication. Let's see if I can't figure out what kind of medication. One was a muscle relaxer, the other was a, um, a uh, anti inflammatory. What I'm looking for. I'm having some trouble here. Oh, no. No. Here it goes. Looks all over the place. Don't want to lose that. I don't know how to take it otherwise, but yeah, so here's what I got. Hey, there's the med school guy there. What is this stuff? Loxicam, that's some type of muscle relaxant. Okay, and this one? And cyclobenzaprine. It seems like I have to look that one up. I think that one's supposed to be the anti inflammatory. How do you say it? Cyclobenzaprine. And the other one is Meloxicam. Sweet. First day of being at the gym since uh, going to the doctor. About to do the only thing I can do right now is tan, and then I'm going to be the designated spotter for today's festivities. So, yeah, can't wait to get started. All right, Hunter going for 265. Personal record, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Hunter. Come on, big guy. There you go, big guy. I hate you. You haven't been working out long enough to do that. Yeah, I got you. These are more like a... Uh, this is more like a power lift. Wait, hold on. Those are 35s on each side. Yeah, 205. Y'all are trying to start with 205? No, we're not starting burnout. This is like the warm up to burnout. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just going for some reps with some somewhat heavy weight. For us, it's kind of heavy still. We're only a year in. We were weak when we started. We could only do like 115 pounds and get actual reps on it when we first started. So, considering we're at pretty good weight by now. There you go. Well, anyway, this is the burnout. Started without me. I call it when you're trying to bodybuild and work on strength, we usually start with the work our way up pyramid up to the heaviest weight, kind of hang out in the heavy weights for a minute. And then to finish the workout off, we do drop sets with <laughs> drop sets with 100, 185 pounds and then just drop down by 10. You do 185 pounds till you can't press it anymore. And you drop down the weight 10, plate, 10 pounds on each side. 
till you get down to a 25 and a five and then on each side and then you drop down by fives after that. So you drop down to multiples of 20 pounds until you get down to, yeah, like one, 110, 105, something like that. Then you start dropping down by fives on each side, 10 pounds. 35, 10, 5. Yeah, it sounds confusing, but yeah. No, 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 that would be the same 25, 10, 5. I'm sorry. 25, sure. 10, 5. 25, 10, 5. 25, 10, 5. I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> the next week. Ah. Oh yeah, that's right. 25, 10, 5. Gotcha. This is sheer torture right here. This is a way to make bench pressing suck. You're going to hate your life. You're going to hate your life. It's good stuff though. It's a great way to really break down that muscle and inspire some growth to take place. We don't want to be power lifters. We don't want to be strong and not look strong. But we don't want to be bodybuilders. I would and look strong and not be strong. So, we want to be strong and we want to look strong. That's where lifting heavy comes in and then the drop set at the end. We break in a major sweat by the time this is all done. I think it takes us about an hour entirely to go through our whole bench press routine on chest and tricep days. Spend about an hour on the bench press and then go to uh, isolation movements for the triceps and chest. It's great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah. No, next is just going to be the 25. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then that's We're making a mess with our weights, guys. I don't care. You need to clean your room, sir. You need to clean. Your room. Well, per dirty, dirty. perhaps I do. <laughs> perhaps I do. Yeah. Alrighty. See if we got a sweat going. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of sweat going. Three. Look at the intensity. Come on. Hold up. Blood vein action. Got some blood veins coming out of the forehead there. Come on. Hey, Evan. How you doing? Good. You're crashing into people. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wasn't there supposed to be a 5 on there, too? No, that was 25. This is just two tens. Oh, okay. I got you. I got this you. This could be a 10 and a 5. A 10. It's so weird how heavy that feels. Well, it doesn't even feel heavy. You just feel so weak. It's sheer torture once you get down to this super low weight. Just sheer torch, you go up from 185, drop setting all the way down to just the barbell. Sheer torture, you feel like you're going to tear your pecs off. Starts off being pain in your chest and triceps and then for some reason moves to your front delts. I guess once your chest gets weak, your front delts start to take over. My chest never gets weak. Sure. Sure. These. Come on, Mr. Gary. You see Adam switch to a inside grip, I guess trying to keep it chest dominant and not front delt dominant. I like an inside grip better. Inside grip kind of targets your inner chest and your triceps more. Wider grip still gets your triceps, but it kind of gets the outer part of your chest more. And if you're not careful, it'll blast your front delts. I just want to take your chest. I didn't know they had a row. A row? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have a row. A row machine. I like the row machine. You got it. You got it. Number six. One more. Come on. Crush it. Crush it. Crush your shell. Yeah. This is just 55 pounds, but it feels like it weighs a ton. The rest of the day will be easy. The rest of the day will be easy. Compared to this, yes. Yeah, isolation. Got it. Come on. I'm sweating just watching them. Yeah, you're breaking a sweat watching them do it. It's because I know what's coming next. Yeah, you're next, Hunter. Like uh, Goldberg. Uh, Hunter, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get over here. Just far. Get just over far. here. Last set. There you go. I wonder how much Aaron can do. Hunter's brother Aaron? I don't know. Aaron's actually pretty strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know he's strong. He used to be our workout partner back in the day, but then he abandoned us for the YMCA. So, Why did he go there? I don't know. He's an old man. Huh? Yeah, they, they do have a lot of other things, but... I would like to go swimming after I bench press and all that, but you know, all I really need is the weights. I really need to start going swimming at my work. You, you have a pool at your job. We have a pool, we have a basketball court. Well, good pool. job. I work at the university. <laughs> You're glistening, sir. Gone up 30 pounds? Well, heck yeah. You're talking about on your, your bench weight. Okay, yeah, cool. Good stuff, isn't it? Are you laughing at the noise? No. <laughs> yes, you are. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Look at this guy. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> that was hurt. Yeah, yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was. Now, I know that was you because Ryan's all the way over here. Come on. One hunter. The torture has only begun. All right. One, two, three, four. Good job, sir. Probably starting to suck a little bit now. Getting in a fight with the weights, Ryan? Yeah, it's starting to hurt him because look at his feet. They always do that little twitching thing. <laughs> that plate to the left is bothering me. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen it. Sorry, one. One big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's struggling now. He's struggling. What are you doing, Ryan? What are you doing? You're slacking there, sir, Mr. Weight Changer. You're fired from the pit crew. You're fired. We need... We need Donald Trump to point out his little, stick out his little finger and tell you you're fired. Hold on, there, there's a five, 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 there a come on, Ryan, come on, Ryan. Look, you said 25, let me see. Yeah, okay, okay. That's his fault. One, two, come on, good job. Come on, big guy. Oh, yeah. Wow. He did get plenty of rest with uh, the confusion on the weight switching because our pit crew man dropped the ball. <laughs> You're not waiting for the next song, Hunter. You're going now. Oh, Metallica. Well, heck yeah. I like to listen to classical music when I work out for some reason. I don't know why. Classical music? Classical music. Like Beethoven and Mozart? Yeah, Beethoven, Mozart, you know, Fleur de Lis. Uh, oh. I listen to that while I'm doing like my Bible studies and stuff, but not while I'm working out. I like some something in the harder variety. You know what I'm saying? Something to get the blood pumping. All right, now it's starting to suck. Do I need a five? No, no. Uh, 25. I'm, I'm stupid. 20. I asked that last time too. <laughs> I hit my head when I was a child. A lot. <laughs> I hit my head a lot when I was a child. When I was a young one. When I was a wee lad. Come on, Hunter. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's having a hard time now. It's not fun anymore now. One big guy. What are you doing? Gosh. Come on, Hunter. Come on, Hunter. Push your shelf. Push it. Big guy. Just gotta do this and then the bar. Fun stuff right here. This is where it this is where it gets really fun. But you're benching nothing but yet you feel like you're dying. <laughs> this is the bench press torture rack right here. <laughs> <laughs> came off the table. All right, buddy. Saw you. Home stretch. Home stretch. Come on. Give me ten. You got five more. Four. Three. He can hear me. Two. One. Zero. All right, give me five more. One. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. One more. One more. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job, Hunter. That started to hurt so bad. All right. So we just got done. Uh, we just got done getting our food. Chicken strips from Hardee's. Uh, yeah. They have good chicken strips. Yeah. And uh, it's Sunday. We went to church and went to get some firehouse subs and then went to the gym. This guy's out for a little while. Down for the count. Four weeks. But you already know that. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't. I enjoy working out with him more than, you know, him having to be on the sidelines. But it was still, still pretty fun. It's a pretty fun day. I was coaching. Yeah. I uh, had a great day at church too. Our pastor. Stay fit! <laughs> our pastor <laughs> preached a very good service. A very good sermon. Yes. Sermon, yeah. Not service. It was a good service though. But, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to go home and eat this food. Bye. Later, Gators. Just kidding. Stay fit your push-ups. <laughs>